Four steps for creating depth to your paintings. Step number one, composition is key. When looking through your sketchbooks for drawings to paint, if you desire to create depth in a painting, make sure to choose a sketch that has a foreground, midground, and background. This is where those thumbnail sketches really make all the difference. I like to do thumbnail sketches of backgrounds first and then add my animal or subject of interest in them later. By framing up my subject, in this case a fox, with a background that has these three elements, it will be easier for me to communicate depth and interest in my painting. Step number two, work off a value sketch. In essence, play around with your drawing using only one color, creating a value system from dark to light for your drawing. Basically, it's a glorified shading chart, which we dabbled in in the last video. Link down below. What's great about value sketches is they are a quick way to evaluate what might be slightly off in your drawing or composition. Since we are only working with one color, this forces us to really pay attention to composition as a whole for your lights and darks. Also, here's a quick tip for you. Chances are, if you don't like your value sketch, you're not going to be happy with your finished product. Step number three, plan out your highlights. Now that you have value sketch done, it should be pretty easy to determine areas in which you would like to preserve the white of the page and develop a plan for how one could do this. Step number four, use a limited color palette, especially for noobs. If you are unfamiliar with color and how it works, then best to work with a limited color palette. Before even placing paint to a page, first I recommend playing around with your paint and getting a feel of what it can actually do. You can do this by creating a simple mixing chart like so and also stretching out your colors in a value scale. Another added element you could do is creating a simple glazing chart to even further understand your paints and how they work. Step number five, work light to dark. We are finally on to the actual painting process of this, where the magic actually happens, or in our case, the depth of our painting. When working with an illustration of this structure, you will want to work light to dark, building up your layers as you go. This is how you create the feeling of depth to a painting. By studying your values and colors, plus how they work together in an overall illustration.
Some other things that I would definitely brush up on in order to create really nice depth is gradients and flat washes, which I have two videos on those in the links down below. In conclusion, depth is created by a good composition, a great value sketch, and finally a good understanding of color and how to build or layer those colors in your painting. We are nearly finished with the series now and you should have a pretty good idea of how I break down my approach to constructing a full painting. First, by conquering art block or something that might be hindering me from creating. Second, by having a good sketchbook set up. Third, by understanding light and dark. And finally today, by creating depth. There is still, however, one key supply I want to spotlight before we finish our series all together, which I will talk about next week. For the question of the day, I would like to know what is your favorite color or colors to work with in a limited color palette. I would love to read your feedback down below. Oh, and if you are also a true Misfitian, make sure to hit the like button before you go. And as always, y'all, lots of love, and I will see you in the next video.